today I'll show you how to get rid of this annoying pop-up message that appears in various Adobe software like Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Illustrator and others, saying this app will be or has been disabled. Usually this happens for a reason, but it could be also due to an error. Anyways, it's very easy to disable permanently. I have the same video for Windows users, the link in the description. First close your Adobe app. Then download and install a simple but handy firewall app called Lulu. Apple's built-in firewall isn't that advanced, so we'll need a third-party option, the link down below. So go to your downloads and run the file. In the Appear dialog, drag the app file into your Applications folder. Then double-click the file, select Open and click Next. When you get the System Extension block notification, click Open System Settings. Scroll down, and under Security, you'll see that Lulu was blocked. Just click Allow, and enter your user account password. Then allow network filtering. Click Next, and that's it for the installation. Now go to your Applications and run the Lulu app. Click on View Rules and find the Adobe application you want to block the pop-up message for. In my case, it's Adobe Illustrator. And if it's not in the list here, click Add Rule. Then click Browse, select the app from the list and click Open. Make sure it's set to Blocked and click Add. Now you'll see your rule. If you need to block another app like Photoshop, simply repeat the process. If the app was already in the list when you opened rules, it would look like this, but with the rule in this line set to allow any address and port, just like here. In that case, just right-click on the line, select Edit Rule, choose Block, and then click Update. Next, download a text file containing a list of Adobe Server IP addresses and domain names for the firewall, the link in the description. Then click on Lists, check Block List, and click Browse. Navigate to your Downloads, select the file, here is its content, and then click Open. Now restart your Mac, and let's see if it worked. Illustrator is up and running, and as you can see, the pop-up message no longer appears. And the app runs without crashing. So that's it, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.